Hey traders, welcome to episode 487 of the show. You could be doing anything on a Wednesday night, but you're here. Just hanging out just like Bitcoin is. So you and Bitcoin have lots in common where we have not changed our price since the day stream, which was only hours ago, but still, it's the same dude, okay? Uh, We are living in an era of harmony, the harmonic dance patrons, all right? So uh, yeah, man, just waiting to see if we can retrace to those deep levels from an XABC heading to the D, all right? Yeah, she would say 55, 42, Uh, before that's 54, 93, but the topic of conversation is how we are approaching a golden retrace. What is... Our golden retrace here the golden retrace you probably see i wish i got to talk trading or something man they're not gonna do anything for me but like dude i wish there was a way if you know how please figure it out if you're really good with like i don't know programming and api and scripting and all that if there's a way that i can make my fibonacci font larger just like my you know scaling on like the pricing if you could figure that out too that'd be incredible incredibly humbled and honored and so grateful man just because like it's too small of text for y'all to see and that really pisses me off because of how much we rely on fibonacci all right or how often we use it with everything else everything is balanced in our reliability right we we look at a fibonacci node with divergence with this with that everything's balanced man it's like the the house of thanos it's to some degree right so it's like we don't I guess we don't over over lean on any particular indicator or pattern here okay this is a tether chart I mean I started it with tether I mean what are you worried about dude look look up here you see that that's the US dollar price okay that's cone base and right now I'm just looking at tether because man the divergence really got me here man it was just like those sneaky South Koreans okay and I'm just talking because it's Binance man Okay, and they, they made it real nice here with the divergence. Where on other exchanges, it, it was not the case at all. It was it was just a little bit of convergence. Heck, man, I don't even think we built any negative momentum on this sell-off here or something. Yeah, dude, we had positive momentum making slightly higher lows. And I guess it's better, but like this is just really nice. And it just makes sense. And I don't think we're done running yet. No, I don't based on the potential harmonic at, at play. At least 54.11, at least 54.93, hopefully 55.42. And if you exceed that, then we got our targets, man. 5,600 and then 57.31 after that, okay? Dude, I love this, man. The WD-40 was so perfect, man. No more squeaky squeaks. I can move this thing and y'all can barely hear it, okay? Wow. 48 minutes left on the four hour candle. Will we be lucky? And I mean, not really lucky. Well, we, I guess we would call it luck if it's like if I'm live and we get a pump while I'm live, that is lucky. Okay. Cause seldom do we get moves while I'm live, even though the frequency of my live streaming is uh, rather boisterous, whatever, you know, I'm like casting a lot. So anyway, still rare. All right, so if we get it tonight, that'd be great, but probably not. All right, it's just like midday in Asia right now. What time is it right now in Seoul, South Korea? Was it like lunchtime? Pretty sure it's like lunch or around lunch, okay. Oh, excuse me, I did my first uh, content creation consulting today. The first one. All right, I'd never done it before but I knew how to lay it all out, okay? And hopefully that person will benefit greatly from it. I've got another meeting with that individual set up tomorrow. So uh, really looking forward to seeing this person develop themselves. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, man, okay? So if you ever need help with like learning how to stream, you know, the thing is, like I told my friend, okay? Like what I told the guy was, uh, trying to teach about content creation it's like if you ever want to do it you have a vision but you just don't know where to begin hey man hit me up dude i can help and it won't cost you twenty thousand dollars like it cost me okay that's it man so uh 
Let's go to Ethereum, I guess. Whatever. Well, I guess we'll get a Bitcoin to the US dollar first, and then we'll get a Ethereum. That's what we've been doing. All right. No harmonics drawn. That's cool. Here's another perspective, right? Just uh, the pennant, right? The good old fashioned pennant where we had. We didn't really know if we had a harmonic yet or any, anything. So there you go, man. Broke out, and we are still about $20 off the measured move of the pennant, which is at 5372. We did have a nice little, was it Harambe? Yeah, a bullish Harami. But a lot of rejection, higher prices. That's okay. The next four candle after that one, we had our highest candle high close of this impulse. So still showing strength, and that was a daily close. So this is the first four hour candle of the day. We have less than an hour on its lifespan. Oh, it's lifespan, man. It's scary. We're going to miss you, four hour candle from May 1st. Or no, May 2nd, I guess, technically, based on the universal time okay so again uh, on this chart the golden retrace is 5386 we're getting there man we're getting closer and closer to it and then we would expect higher prices from there but you know as it took us eight days plus remember x a b c d it took us eight days to finally dump eight hey mitch could you please take a look at qtt thanks is that a joint God, that is that a joint, man? That caught me off guard for a second. Freaked me out. Uh, Ryan Neal, thanks for the 420 contribution chat. Give me some feedback on the the unscuffed version of is that a joint? Which one should we do? Should we do the old one like we had before that was really jointy or this one? Is that a joint? Dude, that one sounds way too proper. Okay. Uh, okay, man. So QTT. Are you trying to passive aggressively hit on me, dude? Montana, man. Is that a joint? I got a yearning to just get back to basics, live off the land. Can you help me with that? Uh, no, man. I don't think so, dude. I think there are better other specialists out there for that. I am but simple TA dreamer, man. Okay. The Montana, no, dude. Could you help me with that, dude? Living off the land, dude? I don't know, man. Like, I used to want to do that all the time. In days of old but now i've just been wanting something's just been drawing me closer and closer to an like an urban area like going to like live in atlanta or austin or dallas or something but yeah i, I hear you dude and i think that's probably just a phase thing in and out <sighs> but in life man we must always be like the the farmer the farmer from the days of old what does the farmer do right he always lays fences he's continuously well he lays the fences and then later tears the fence down to gain more land to put more fences up right so it's like you're constantly get, gaining more right you're always looking to gain more land <clears throat> and in this situation the land would be knowledge okay and empowerment all right whatever the new is that a joint is creepy rick schmitz how dare you say that man <sighs> oh yeah i forgot it's the first of the month man first of the month best day of value to join the patreon if you like what i do and you want me to keep doing it man best way to do it is by joining the patreon showing your sport but hey we have amenities to incentivize ye with education trade setups and discord exclusivity Oh, excuse me, man. Oh, my God. All right, whatever, dude. Bitcoin Connect, Ethereum Connect. We're just going to go back to the same chart we've been looking at. Because there's just no real reason to look at the bearish crab pattern really yet, right? I've, and we already drew the new one anyway on this one. But uh, everything's cool, man. Everything's kosher. It's beautiful. Harmony. Oh, my God. So amazing. All right, you the crab... Its last impulse was the first impulse of the potential bullish bat pattern. And hilariously enough, on the way down to this area that will take time, we're developing a bearish crab pattern where we had a higher low double bottom, a 38% retrace roughly, and we could expect prices to run to at least probably 169, 170. I just don't know how the heck you're getting above this area of resistance to make that 886 retrace. 
It's really good to always critically think about that. Okay, why do we not hit targets because overwhelming resistance above us or support below us in the context that is relevant? All right. So, so far, like Bitcoin, a impulse up, a higher low than your previous low, and you're back testing pretty much the area that was once a resistance as support. The downslope and consolidation along with that give us gives us a little bit more reason to believe a break to the upside could happen even after we discussed the reversal pattern that played out ungodly anyone remember last night oh yeah man looks like we got a, a a hammer we have a bearish hammer that has developed look what happened from it yeah we reversed our price action know your patterns man your japanese candlestick patterns become a king man identify these they can help you, man. Help you in the game. So anyway, the shorter term target, 169, 170, if Bitcoin continues playing ball, we'll probably see that those prices. And uh, eventually when Bitcoin wants to retrace, I think Ethereum is going to sell off too. And eventually I would love to see an entry of the 886. All right, X to A. That's an 88.6% retrace. What else is it? It's a 200% retrace roughly. All right. Bullish convergence on the higher lows right here have yielded us higher prices for now. All right. Ethereum connect. If we zoom out, you can see the context of the situation, which is up sloping higher lows, higher highs. But kind of recently, we've been showing lower highs. Uh-oh. A lower high than your previous high. And if we get one more consecutive lower highs, uh-oh. Keep making three lower highs. Hey, sell off. We got to create demand if we make another lower high. Okay. All right. Best of luck to you. Ethereum Connect. Sweet, man. Oh, Ripple Connect. Don't call it Ripple, man. You call it XRP or else. Then I say XRP Connect. Don't you call it XRP Connect. Call it Ripple Connect or else. You're danged if you do, danged if you don't with Ripple, okay? You are. All right, this is it, man. It's the way it uh, seems like uh, it's playing out. You know, I thought we had a wedge, but then I just uh, replotted. Like once we got that little scrub off, which it's okay. I mean, like you still have look your impulse up, down slope consolidation, and you're actually back testing the uh, old support. Remember, it was a support. It was supposed to be used as a resistance, but nah, we broke above it. And now back testing it could be coincidence, but uh, it's right there. I haven't moved it or touched it. I should, but. Um, weird though right you're hooking back off that as a support which is normally a good sign good sign meaning like false breakout of the upsloping support we had we'll see how it goes man we know xrp what's happening in the next week or two we're gonna see what we're made of when we hit that downsloping resistance that we had been in since february 2018 well over a year now we've been in that dang dude like 14 months wow <clears throat> Can I touch on the bullish Harami? And any other candle formations? There's so many, man. You must be spe specific. So you did the right thing by saying bullish Harambe. Yeah, it is very simple. Very simple. We could find one easily on XRP somewhere, a reversal. Here's an easy one. It's a reversal. You have an impulse. You have one candle. It's a two candle pattern, right? The bullish Harambe, Harami, or the bullish inside bar. Or the bearish inside bar. This is a bearish inside bar, bearish harami. And what we're probably just going to keep calling from now on the bullish, har the bearish harambe, just uh, to pay uh, respect to our, uh, you know, primate friend who was slain for no reason, really. Okay, so your bearish harambe, call it that out of respect. Okay. Uh, the bearish harambe is when you have one green candle and the next candle after that, you have the, the body. It completely closed within the previous candle. The wick can be outside. Uh, what you like seeing on the Harambe's is when you get even the wicks within, but uh, it's really tough when this market never closes to get the candles to hold within because we always have the same open. We never have like, you know, it's not like you ever open lower inside, right? Like on the stock market. So it's really just any candle closes that are contained within the previous one. So that's a Harami. All right. Oh, engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish harami, 
nothing. Bearish engulfing candle, right? Looking at all these reversals. Not, it didn't really engulf, it's a little higher. Okay, that's not, that's not a Harami either. Okay, it's gotta, remember the whole body has to be contained within the previous candle. This one's a little out, so that's not a Harami. All right, look, bearish Harami. Okay, two candle pattern, the green candle, then the red candle within it, and then you get a sell off from it. And it's also three uh, black crows too, but it didn't really manifest into anything, right? Okay, perfect three black crows pattern. There's a inverted hammer or could be possibly a morning star. I'm just looking at random stuff, man. Why not? <clears throat> Here's a Harambe, bearish Harambe, bearish engulfing candle. I did, man. I mean, bearish engulfing candle, get it, man. Are we cool? There's so many Harambes and engulfing candles. All right, dude. Sweet. So the bullish Harambe just happened as we test the 20 moving average, it seems, in this old trend line that was once back tested as a resistance. We broke through it and back testing as support now. All right. So pray for Bitcoin. All right. Get your your prayer cards ready for Bitcoin XRP peoples because you need Bitcoin performance to have any shot in heck. All right, I'm sorry to say. Don't get mad at me, dude. Don't get mad at me, man. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bullish Harambe, but it is now. It actually is. We're, we're making it that. You understand we are the community. We are the change when it comes to TA. We can do whatever we freaking want, man. We can. Hey, we're in crypto, dude. All this stuff was created on traditional markets. So in crypto, it's not a bullish Harambe, it's a bullish Harambe, okay? Are we cool? We're changing the game, man. That's all it is. All right. What, you want more reversal candles, dude? Oh my God, there's so many of them, dude. So many. Well, let me get through some chats. We've looked at these three already. Hey, we broke out. We already have our fibs high to low 50 percent retrace 62 percent retrace these are common areas where we might sell off we've already hit the golden zone uh the 382 was hit and sold off shortly after couldn't break above the 200 moving average jeez man you just got all these issues with the two and it's like ripple has a 200 moving average complex dude it just it's got a phobia okay what is a 200 in spanish doso it's like dosophobia or something sorry ripple so vet bro octoman pcs skyward man hello can you hear me that's what i was trying to say skyward card for crypto welcome welcome man cheers what's up gang logan dude third eye trader man i'm glad you're learning a lot dude that's what it's all about jason Jason Neo5, welcome. Oh my god. Is it the one? Moz, dude. How are you doing, man? I'm glad you're here. So, Brucolinos, Iceberg, Tyler Heal. Yeah, we gotta look at. Uh... Hello, cutie pie. Oh my goodness, man. This was the request. Whoa, what? Can someone... Catutio? Catutio? All right, Catutio. Do your worst. 786 retrace. Low to high. A 78.6% retrace. Can you believe it, man? Yeah, we can definitely believe it. All right. Uh, we've actually... We'll see. Is there a candle close here? Because we might be off, man. There is a can't. There's a wick, dude. There's multiple wicks. So okay, we're going wick the wick. We're good. Pattern development none, dude. It's just a straight leg down. Bearish convergence. I mean, yeah, dude. You're you're not showing anything really particularly bullish here, man. I got nothing for you. I don't know when this thing's gonna reverse this price action. Okay. Look at this little miniature scrub loser hammer. 
I mean, it worked out, but not for much, dude. But remember, on your bullish hammers, the you want to have double the body, or yeah, your wick needs to double the body of the candle close, right? So like double this, and we have it. it it's valid, but the long, larger the wick down, the stronger the impulse up could be. All right, the reliability gets stronger and stronger the further we reject lower prices right so you get real low and then a huge wick up that's showing extreme buying pressure okay might reverse it well we did but look you had what a bearish harambe bearish harambe on the four hour and you gapped up to pathetic right so there's a gap here now that could probably fill at six dollars 61 cents in time dude thing is terrible can i even draw a channel maybe i don't even think so man from that wick are you trying to do this are you trying to say hey man i think it might be a wedge dude or something is that what is that why you brought me to this foreign land literally quatudio quatudio for whatever it's like uh gung holio bung holio but here's the thing man too much white space on both sides pathetic dude it's probably just a channel right you could just channel this and be completely fine Pro probably way more accurate and you're not setting yourself up for false hopes right same thing there you go man and you could honestly dang dude all right equidistant channel this scrub okay There you go, man. 25% resistance. 25% uh, support. Heartline resistance. Heartline resistance. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So we're just in this really, really trashy equidistant channel with no real divergence on a four hour. Let's go to the daily. Daily, you might be in good shape. You might be, okay, there's some hope for you. God, and nothing, everything was, oh my God, man. Just give me a sec, okay? Kind of change the visibility for the daily. You get it, man. Is that it? That's it, man, right? Okay, we're good, man. We're good. That's it, man. All right, so yeah, yeah. Some divergence is developing on the four hour, or excuse me, on the daily, on the MACD, all right? But you're making your highest histogram wick so far, so tomorrow we could sell off and make an even higher level of negative momentum. We could keep doing that on lower prices. So we don't, we're not really rounding out yet on the daily. Okay. This is technically, oh, I mean, you can call it an inverted hammer and a bullish harambe, harami at the same time. This is not the crypto exchange, right? We're just, we're just going to call, we will not call anything on the stock market a Harambe. We'll only call it the Harami or the inside bar. Okay, so inverted hammer and also a bullish Harami at the same time. So it could be a potential reversal candle, but look what you did. You fell through the 78.6% retrace, which we know is pinpoint accurate, $7.04. And all we did today was run up and back test it as a resistance. Come on, man who has the ball here the bulls don't have the ball here okay so yeah eventually we'll be seeing some sort of reversal of the upside look there is a okay there's your kind of your one of your last lines of defense that's where you bounced you bounced back from october of 2018 but again you were given an opportunity and you've done nothing with it so far but this just closed today so we'll see how it plays out man all right mr k illusion welcome welcome to oversold on the daily 25 so you're developing divergence, but we don't know when it's going to start rounding out like they always do when they're building. They start receding. All right. When will it start receding? And then, you know, all right, divergence here, it's developing. It's almost a certainty that it will play out as bullish divergence. But if it keeps building, think about it. You could, in these situations, you don't want to get like, okay, we're going to do it, man. We're going to run to the upside because you could keep building and then do this. And then a little bit of positive momentum and then we could do this right and then you get yourself like some sort of triple uh macd bullish divergence on much lower prices hitting an 88.6 percent retrace all right so just keep that in mind all right no formal structure or, or no formal pattern has developed here so whatever man good luck to you on could Quatodio. 
All right, man. It's going to be the name of my next crypto. Hopefully that helped. I mean, sorry, man. It's kind of like gross. A lot of things out there. Lots of charts out there, and we are just hobbits. Okay. All right, let me get through some more. Uh, I haven't looked at, like, any cha any more chat. Like, sub Hans Zambrano, welcome. Crypto Cocktail Chris, good evening. Ms. Gantomo, welcome, dude. Uh, Burma's, yeah, for, uh, WD-40 is magic, man. Surely is. Ryan in, hello, dude. We look crypto, man. What's up, dude? Hey, Alex. Michael Ivy, 23. Good to see you again, man. Would I buy Cardano or VeChain at these prices for holding, not to trade? Mm, probably not, no. But for a trade, there's potential trade on ADA. VeChain, uh, like, you know, there's just so many charts. We can only look at so many in a day. Uh, it, it, it sneakily, stealthily set up at a double bottom. There was a potential trade there. We just didn't see it. Speaking of, why don't we just go? Yeah, why don't we just do it, man? Okay, it looks like Montana and everyone else hated the new Elon. Is that a joint? Okay, so. But I haven't even seen the reactions or responses. Okay, so it didn't work out. Did not work out at all. All right. Uh, double bottomed, and then you broke the little neckline here. And then uh, that was it. You're bearishly engulfing right now. These BTC pairs, they had their chance, they had their uh, time in the sun, and it was before the April 1st pump. You all know that. All right, we had plenty. We had like two months, two months of uninterrupted, sick, fat, stupid gains and trade setup developments on these S coins, and now it's all froggy because Bitcoin is in charge right now that's not like nebulous like we all know bitcoin huge move up and still up sloping in its consolidation and still holding on right it's not good for these btc pairs they're clearly not responding well at all i mean all the gains that you would have had on this trade setup that we had a successful trade setup here they're all gone i mean they're almost all gone like i think entry was like 108 or 107 or something so like 78% of those gains lost from the low to high, maybe 886. And now you just got this downsloping channel and you're just failing. You're trying so hard. You just can't do it. It's okay though, man. Like you might be bearishly engulfing here, but you're bouncing off the 20 and the 50 moving average and your 20 is about to bullishly cross over your 50. So we could bounce and pivot here and keep running. And hopefully we could see the 382, 128, which is the top of the channel. It would make a lot of sense, man. So we may not be done here on B-Chain, but dang, what kind of uh, disappointing candle are we seeing right now with 23 minutes left on its lifespan <sighs> like heartbeat man it's like oh my god v chain man this candle dude not good all right i think that's the first time in history i've ever done my synthetic heartbeat so history made today tonight may 1st you may never see it again okay does that answer your question maybe probably not Sorry, man. I haven't really taken a break tonight. I, I ate a little dinner. That was about 25, 30 minutes I had of uh, downtime from when I started my day, you know, with thumbnails and, um, you know, managing my own stuff, right? And uh, getting set up for streams, doing my two static videos today. Since all that, I have not stopped, but for 30 minutes. Go back to the old. Is that a joint, Alex? Okay. Ryan Neal says it sounds anal. I mean, how does it sound anal? Is that a joint? It just sounds too proper, right? It doesn't sound scuffed. That's right. The farmer gets S done. That's very true, too. What about polymath? <laughs> Dang, dude, I'm behind on chat. I don't even know, like, what happened, dude. <clears throat> James, what is it? You play for the Pembroke Kings football team, 
and now you've got everybody saying Kangs. It's so good. <laughs> Let's go Kangs, baby, Kangs. And it's got to be the double Kang, right? It's like Kangs, baby, comma, Kangs, and all, and all caps with multiple explanation marks, right? Sure thing, Art of JR. How's the stock market looking, man? Depends. It's all over the place. Different, uh, right? I mean, the stock market sold off pretty decently at the end today, near the close. It was really nice. Really nice for MasterCard, man. Yes, dude. I felt like I was in this world by myself, man. Like, took that trade on MasterCard yesterday towards the close. No, knowing that there was earnings, but I believed in the technical analysis, man. I really did. And it was like I was watching so intently on MasterCard. Okay, the 1618. This was yesterday. We, uh, on the 60 minute, we double topped at the <clears throat> actual 1618 almost perfectly. Yep. And then open, this was the open today where we gapped up a little higher and then ran at open and then just dumped from there. All right. And that first 60 minutes of trading today. And so like yesterday though, this was the last candle. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh my God, man, it is double topping right at the 1618 and no higher. All right. <clears throat> open position. And here we are. All right. 248.08. That's uh, probably where I'll close. I'm I'm just praying that we can fill the gap because to me, what I thought my analysis was on Mastercard, we had in the daily is so ungodly. Oh my god! <sighs> I know for a fact this is a textbook exhaustion gap. Okay, it is textbook. All right, An exhaustion gap is uh, at the very end of an extremely large impulse up. You gap up, a pretty decent gap up, and it's on good volume, but it's on much lower volume than like the beginning of the run, right? See this gap up right here? Look at the volume involved here. Look at the volume involved, and this volume was high, but it wasn't too high. It's gotta be like just right for the exhaustion gap. And so looking for us to fill and potentially go much, much lower. Dude, if we could close, look, us just touching the 20 day moving average on MasterCard is $241, man. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so like pumped on this one, man. All right. It was just like screaming, we are going to get wrecked. 1618 earnings, all time highs. 83 on the RSI. Last time we saw 83 on the RSI was in January of last year, right before the largest spike. Yes, the largest spike of volatility in the history of the stock market right here just before that and then after that i mean before uh, the crazy spike in volatility right last time we saw anything like that on the rsi was when april and may of 2008 global financial crisis come on dude give me a freaking break but oh no dude social media everywhere i looked man dude Okay, 90% of people say you should get in on uh, MasterCard, 10% say sell. And it's like, yeah, I get those little metrics or like longer term stuff. It's not like day to day shorts and all that. But dude, it's so much evidence to believe this would happen today. And it sure as F did. And it's so exhilarating. It feels so good. All right. So MasterCard Connect. Right now, yeah. QTT, we did it, man, right? Am I crazy? What's up, Dave and Bella Toy Adventures? Welcome back. He says, good evening, man. Didn't get your notification that you were live. Yeah, no, no one gets it. Hey, be, be sure to join our Discord. If you want an insurance policy on my notifications because you don't want to miss a live stream or a static video, you have to join the Discord because YouTube does not send out Discord, like, uh, does not send out notifications all right, and it's gotten really, really bad. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I don't know why, but uh, it's not just for me. It's for people with millions and millions of subs too that they're having the same issue, all right? So if you join the Discord, we ping you when I go live so you never miss a broadcast or a publication of a static video, all right? Hit it up. Post the link, mods, kings, and queens, all right? 
Oh my god, Bullish Harami. You changed it? It should be Bullish Harambe. What? Why'd you change your name, dude, though? Ha, huh, Rami. Oh, it's Rami, dude. Is that is that our Rami, dude? That's pretty good, man. But your name should have been Rambe. Okay. Like IRL. So you could have made your name. Bullish Rambe. I think Bad can make it back to 50 cents soon. Uh, if Bitcoin wants to keep playing ball, yeah, probably. Uh, Bad is uh, in one of those situations that many other altcoins are not in. Okay, Bad is special like BNB in regards of all-time highs, breaking critical overhead resistances to the left, and uh, holding and back testing them as supports. BNB and Bat are very special uh, at this time during uh, this season, I guess you would call it, whatever. This quarter. It's been like, I mean, BNB has been going since I think October or something. Insane. Have ever considered adding the time zones on my streams? What do you mean, Eric Schmitz, man? Like how? Like the little clock, like a clock, different clocks up here or something? Hold on. I just got a text from Harambe himself. Hold on. Let me sip my coffee and just let me calm down, all right? I've been going too long, too hard, man. We're good now. That's it, man. Let's go to uh, Activision. Why not? Earnings tomorrow. Monkey ass. We'll just throw it up on the screen, all right? Monk S here. I think it's after close tomorrow. I don't think Activision ever has earnings pre-market. It's always after market close. AMC. All right, so we got our breakout, but uh, don't really like the candle we developed right here. But uh, adding these three candles together pretty much just gives you a bunch of indecision. But uh, what I hate is the rejection that we have seen looking left, right? Overhead resistance, 4880s. Can't break it. So could be very well due for some sort of pullback. All right. Just because I got in at $44 on my limit buy doesn't mean everyone else should be getting in at these prices. I mean, think about it. I'm up so much. I'm up $4 and 50, 56 cents per share, right? And so I see people saying, I got in on it. And it's like, man, I hope you got in many days before today. All right, because we could start, we have not back tested. The breakout, we have not back tested yet. NVIDIA actually back tested and kind of fell through before slingshotting up to run to its 382. All right, so with Activision, man, just be. Remain patient, understand we're hitting resistances we cannot break right now, and we might be showing some reversal for at least a little bit. Hey man, I'd love to see a sell off tomorrow all the way down to like 47, 15 to back test, going into close, and then we just gap up and explode up on earnings because we've been beaten down like a freaking drum so hard. Lost over half our value in a matter of months. And haven't recovered like the rest of the market recovered, but not Activision, not yet. But don't worry, man. Don't worry, dude. Good asset. I do not think at all this was a breakaway gap. I don't think there was near enough volume. There was no volume really involved with this gap down. So if it's not a breakaway gap, if it's not an exhaustion gap, then it is the next gap, the third gap. There's only three gaps. The one that's just your everyday common gap that normally 70% of the time gets, or 67% of the time gets filled. So in time, I think we will fill this gap at least to 62, 70. But that will take time. That could take us a month or two. That could literally take a month or two. So are you ready for that? Yeah. Daily time scale, man. Activision Blizzard, extremely bullish. Extremely bullish. Just had a, a little bad luck with every, the rest of the market. Just hadn't recovered yet. Give it time, man. Holy crap. You were bad. Come on, dude. You have student debt and you're balancing three girlfriends.
Bradley, yeah. Well, once that probably November, December, they always posted then. I think uh, the new Star Wars movie is coming out in December too, for Disney anyway. Three girlfriends are depreciating assets. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's a lot of upkeep, and you have student debt, man. I mean. That's like, should I pay off my three girlfriends first or my student debt? You should definitely pay off your student debt before your three girlfriends, okay? Hey, what's up, Orlando? Cal Reason, sorry to see that you did not get a notification either. Again, join the Discord if you want to know for certain when I go live or when I make a publication with Data Video, okay? Looks like it's turning around a little bit. Very, very close to all time lows. Well, on Binance, anyway. Yeah, it looks like you had a wedge of some sort or a channel, whatever it was. I mean, probably a equidistant channel like Bitcoin. Very similar. But if that's the case, then it's like, dude, not even close, man. Alright, if you look at it like that, not even close. But, um,. Like, you, like, it's so tough, man, with these, all right? Like, what do you do? Do you do, is that it? We broke it, man. We broke out, but we kept selling off. You made the adjustment? You made the adjustment, dude? I mean, like, where does it end? Where does it end? All right, was that it, dude? Did we break out of the falling wedge? I mean, dude, with wedges, wedges do not always do what you think they will. They Just because they break out does not mean that uh, they're going automatically to their targets it doesn't mean that at all we can sell off and back test on lower lows and look what happened we like double bottom down here a lower low double bottom and then a higher low higher low higher lows but now we're struggling really really hard at the over resistance look once and twice and actually a billion times here we just can't break it over Head resistance is powerful. This is the type of resistance we should expect at 5,800 to 6,000 on Bitcoin, right? But power already made it back up. So yeah, man, that's what these things can do. Don't think that a wedge is just like this perfect. Once it breaks out, it's going, man, to the moon. A lot of times you sell off, back test, and then go sideways, and then you start running up. So uh, I think there's multiple swing highs here. The height of the wedge, it seems like, is probably back from February 2018. It, 90 cents we're currently at 11 cents man let's go let's freaking go all right so our previous discernible swing high though come on is this one here so that high to low we just hit for the first time april 2nd all right like a month ago we hit the 236 before selling off so that's the most shallow retrace and that gives us reason to believe that this might be the low an accurate low from a high to low anchor point right so if you were to just make a common retrace from our previous discernible swing high the common retrace golden zone we call it you know is between 20.9 cents and 30.35 cents but dude if bitcoin does like doesn't want to play ball you're not going to get there but if bitcoin wants to run up then yeah this thing might have a a shot that's it, man. I don't even want to use these fibs, okay? Because I can see my previous swing high. It's very clear and real. And I don't, dude, these markets, man, just use the, use that swing high, all right? The previous one. Because like, you know, a lot of these assets that we saw, like OMG, we used the previous high or the height of the structure of the shorter term wedge and it played out beautifully. But then we used the real discernible swing high all the way back from April of last year, and we didn't even get close to it. I don't think we had a 23% retrace yet. So, oh my God.
Okay. Okay. You got in on your girlfriend in 19,989 and sold it 3,200. Good one, Demetrius. Fantastic, all right. Jewelry bag, it's not up to Garling House. Okay, not really. Thanks, uh, Funny Mooners. Okay, Kangs. Yeah, that's right, dude. Okay. Pick one looks good. Well, it's looking almost identical to the way it was 52 minutes ago. All right. Gold's still looking fine, man. Gold's still hanging in there, man. This is a long game thing, dude. This is not your typical everyday thing, all right? This is gold. Been in a down, it wasn't a downtrend from September of 2011 all the way until June of 2017, and then something happened. We broke out, but we faced this slightly down sloping resistance and we just can't break it man and now what's happened we ran up from your high to low hit a 88.6 percent retrace before selling off deep retrace and now we're just doing is you're making down sloping consolidation after an impulse up bullish you're potentially setting yourself up for higher prices okay this has been developing all this has been developing since 2013. This is not some sort of, oh man, I don't know, dude. This is an extremely significant time scale and uh, amount of time that we've scaled out. So you can see the potential slanted, complex, inverse head and shoulders pattern. It's beautiful, dude. It's freaking beautiful. And others would now argue and say, eh, ascending triangle. Okay, ascending triangle all you want, but we had it like that before. We fell out of it and bounced. So I mean, okay, we could adjust. Yeah, still ascending triangle. No big deal. But guess what? Your measure move, your ascending triangle is the same measure move of my complex inverse head and shoulders. All right, neckline. If we broke it, there's a good reason why we'd have a huge spike to the upside. No resistance above us until really 1526. And then you would ta be talking about at this area, we'd be getting foam mowers, gold foam mowers, dude. Brother Abel, man, are you kidding me? Please clap. Is that a joint? Brother, man, oh my god. Bradley Abel tipped $126. Dude, Bradley, man, thanks for the 126. The huge Bitcoin ball in the jar, dude. Holy crap, man. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Dude, I really do. But no TTS, man? No TTS, man? It's so much fun when the TTS happens, man. Uh,. So Bradley, man, what is this testament to? All this Momo shift, it all we found that bottom in January 2016. It's been higher lows ever since. What's happening? People around the world are de-risking. They're de-risking from a market cycle that's lasted over a decade now. All right, the momentum has shifted. The two down sloping resistances, three actually, were broken. All right, we're outside of it still. We have interpreted to the market that this downsloping channel is done. Higher lows now. When the market tanks, gold is going to be there as a hedge against this 10 year plus long bull market cycle. The longest sustained run, I think, in the history. It's like the most bullish market we've ever seen in the history of human mankind since the New York Stock Exchange became a thing. All right. Been around really long time. Man, oh my god. Is that a joint? Dude, what do you think about the is that a joint Bradley? Man, I'm so indifferent on this. I don't know. I really don't know. Gangs. Gangs. I really need to know though. Um it just sounds too good, right? It there was like gain and like scuffed stuff and a little bit of like you could hear in the background just a little bit of the snoop dogg song on the other version i need to hear what you think man all right big one's moving it's up nine dollars holy crap sorry dude what are y'all looking at it's not really moving that much i mean it's kind of moving a little bit yeah one minute left oh yeah that's right 
Perfect timing. Timing, Bradley. Be local on the eights. Oh my god. Change it back. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's just go to the war. US dollar to the war. You like it, Mr. Coffee Man? What? Are you kidding me? Moving, but again, like barely, man. Barely, dude. Methodical, upsloping price action. Just making a little bit, a little higher highs every four hours. Come on, dude. 50 seconds left until this four hour closes. There's a little bit of volatility going on. Just a little bit. Look even crazier on the 60 minute, I'm sure. JM R. Leroy says, been watching since last summer. Thank you, Mitch. Learning every day, especially patience. Awesome, dude. Well, uh, it means a lot that you're uh, chiming in to let me know, dude. Much love. Maybe one day I'll be able to do the whole like thing like Twitch where it's like, you know, Twitch has subs and it's like, it's really cool because you'll see like all like, you know, bigger streamers or any streamer that's been doing it for a long time. You'll see people that'll like resub and it'll be like, uh, thanks for the 17 month resub, right? Like that's so cool. Like Twitch does that. Like YouTube doesn't have any, it's just so unfriendly for streaming. Like no one gets notifications when someone goes live. There's no hosting, right? So if like, say box mining or Alex Cobb or whatever got done streaming and I had started my stream, he could, and uh, he could host me and meaning like he could send over all his viewers to raid my stream and they'd all be watching me and that'd be getting like, that's a thing they do on Twitch. So I just, it sucks, man. My audience is on YouTube, but Twitch is such a better streaming platform but I'm not going to go to Twitch because everyone's here and YouTube is good. It has its own pros too. Just like it has cons, it has pros too. All right. You like the old one? Slightly better. Crypto Hippie. You know what? Can we do a straw poll? Can somebody get a straw poll going for the old versus new Elon? We're going to put this thing to a vote as Bitcoin sells off. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, peace, nice, man. Thanks for the uh, Twitch sub, man. What is that? What month is that? Dude, see, and the thing is, like, you have to use Stream Labs for the that thing to pop up. Uh, that was the ninth month in a row. Thanks for the nine months. That's what the Twitch streamers say. Nine, thanks, dude. Nine months. Much love. I think you're neck and neck with somebody for, like, the longest Twitch sub ever streak. Okay. The old one sounded better. I agree. I agree. Probably. Kind of. Yeah, YouTube has the members. Yeah, but Bradley, I have to have 30,000 subs to be able to partake in that amenity, that YouTube amenity. That's such a joke, dude. So that means like 30,000 subs. I'm at 69.14. I got a long way to go before that can happen, right? Heck, Alex Cobb doesn't even have it yet. Awesome, Dave and Bella. I'm glad you joined the Discord. Welcome to this community that grows every single day. Wow, nice, uh, nice picture, dude. Note it all. Holy crap. If that isn't a bullish Harambe, I don't know what is. Oh my god, dude. You're killing me. Killing me, y'all. We want our Elon, Elon back, King Logan. Do I need to create this drop hole? Because, like, last time I tried to create this drop hole, it didn't work out. Okay, I guess I'll just do it real quick. Okay, 5318. Sorry. Sorry, that those were not the dro uh, droids. Drones and droids we were looking for. Whatever. Jeez, man. Had a long day. Real long day. I mean, it hasn't even really stopped since it started. Okay, let's drop hole. No, no, I'm, we're definitely putting this to a vote, okay? making this right now okay everyone calm down <laughs> ok 
Okay, I think we're good. Creating pull right now. All right, here we go. Go ahead and go here. Straw pull dot me. Oops, sorry. Let me uh, delete that one. There you go. Dude, why is now removing? Dude, it's like lagging or something. Maybe it's deleted or something already. I don't know. So go vote, man. Go vote. All right, Bitcoin's selling off pretty hard now. Harder. Here you go, man. That's okay. Who cares, man? Dude, you could run down and touch the 20 moving average to 5,300 and still be fine. Please understand. Dude, the ebbs and flows between the waves are not a big deal. Like, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down for a week, man. Just everyone calm down. All right, here we go, dude. Let's check out this uh, poll so far. All right, which is that a joint do you want? Do you want the old scuffed one or the new proper one? Is that a joint? Old scuffed. My God, dude. Uh-oh. It's like 66% of the voters are old scuffed. And the old's pulling away, man. It sure is. 70 to 30. 31 votes. Give me a break, dude. That's low voter turnout. I thought this was important stuff, man. All right. Can I play both sound bits real quick? Yeah, I got to find the other one, dude. Hold on. I'm looking for it <clears throat> somewhere. I think this is it. Is that a joint? That was it. All right. Is that a joint? Right there, dude. That's the old one. All right. Big pull. I'm going get. I'm going get. Alex voted for the old one, man. There was a sample IBLB. I just gave you the old one just now, and is that a joint? This, this is the that's the new unscuff version. I think we're good, man. I think it looks like uh, I'll give it a few more minutes till the poll closes. All right, forty-five votes. Exercise your right to be king. As Bitcoin sells off a little bit, just a little bit, so little that no one even cares, man. This is a midterm election. Crypto Orange. No, no, it's not. It's not air. Don't worry about the loudness because I can adjust that. All right. I do that on my stream deck. So it's completely fine. Don't think about the, the actual loudness of it. Okay, dude. The new one is this. Remember. Is that a joint? Don't worry about decibel levels. Okay. Is that a joint? It's not supposed to sound great. It's supposed to sound scuffed and hilarious, dude. Okay. Dang, dude. 32 to 20 right now. 52 votes. All right. It's looking like old scuff's going to do it, man. I got, I'll got. i give it two more minutes, and then it's over. All right, man. Back to Bitcoin. I've been live for somehow an hour and five minutes. I don't even know what time does anymore. Time's lost its freaking mind, man. Oh, man. It really has. New one's good, but Logan, we're not look is good better always? No. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Oh no, not this song. It's so trash. Hold on. Sorry.
Apex Funny Mummix. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. The new one sounds so scrawny. Yeah, dude. It doesn't sound very Kangish. All right. So going back to it, the voting, ladies and gentlemen, is closed. It is now officially over. The old scuffed will be brought back to the stream. All right. Let's get a big round of applause for Jeb Bush for finishing in third. Please clap. Okay, man. Does anyone get that? What's happening right now? Because I don't. Hey, uh, Justin M. Thanks so much for joining the Patreon earlier today. And Arturo M. Thank you also for joining the Patreon. All right. The, we have seven new patrons that have joined today. Again, it being the best day of the month to join the Patreon. All right, so if you want to become more learned, you want trade setups, you want Discord exclusivity, but you also want to support the stream, that's the best way to do it, through the Patreon. All right, man. Or woman. Easy area. It worked, man. It worked. Yes, Rinky, seven. Seven dot dot dot. Exactly, dude. So good, Landcap. Old is better, Kang. Exactly, dude. Why is the resistance at 5330-ish? Eh. Candle low close back from April 24th. It's really not that strong. Dude, again, you just had it where you had one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of thirteen candles were green. All right, you're going to pull back a little bit before running again. It's not a straight line up, man. You just don't do that. It's not how it works, man. They go up and down, slight, slightly uh, lower right prices. You pivot and you run again, man. All right, it just takes time. Just think about it. It's like you could sell off right down here and give yourself a nice rising wedge or something like that. Okay, so just patience. It's the ebbs and flows. It's the in-between time. It's the dead zone where we wait, we're waiting for new those prices to hit up there. All right, whatever. I don't know, man. Screen is wrecked. Scoured. Pixar didn't happen, dude. Seriously, Pixar didn't happen. Dude, oh my god. This is so weird, man. Like, Ryan N. Thank you so much for joining. But for some reason, my stream uh, labs is not working for P Patreon. And I don't know why. I'm gonna refresh the catch data. Oh, that's the chat box. Crap. Sorry. Where is this dude? Just give me a sec. There it is, an alert box will refresh the cache data. Alright, there it is. But I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do a, uh, since Ryan N did pledge during the live stream, I will do a test pledge in honor of him, okay? So dumb. It sometimes just doesn't, doesn't work, Brad. I don't know why. It's done it before. It's just stupid. Okay, here it is. This is for Ryan N for joining the Patreon tonight. Pause the music. Why not? Get the best out of it. Is that a joint? Is that a joint? See the scuff version so much better with that too. There it is, man. There it is. The new graphic. Oh my god. It only cost me some money. Alright. Sweet. Are we cool? Does everyone get that right there? John, you you here downside to 4K is possible, man? Oh my God! Well, let's look at the tether chart on the daily. 
Oh yeah, I don't think we talked about this on the night stream. Look what's developing on Tether. So we had this uh, channel, right? But the ascent, the angle of ascent elevated. And so you say if we plot from this low to these new lows, that's two upsloping converging trend lines. Anyone out there, Bueller? That's what I'm saying. Like we run up, hit the 886, 100%, 1272. If we run up, hit 5750 up here, the top of the pattern, man, that might be a legendary short opportunity. 57, 5800 area where we're starting to finally see real resistance back from June of 2018. Why oh, is this off, man? Maybe it was in the four hour. Okay. So up here, real big area where we might have a nice move down. But as it stands now, we, uh, we have negative momentum and we're rallying. So by the time we double top or make higher highs, we will certainly, I don't know, man. We'll probably have RSI diverge. Just just depends, man. Really, in this situation, you're not set up to give yourself uh, bearish divergence on the daily because like you make a higher high, then you're going to be making positive momentum when before, you even on this high, you had negative momentum. So you're not going to get that much help on the daily. Uh, all you can hope for is RSI. Triple RSI bearish divergence where we don't make higher highs than... 76 when we run up there okay so yeah tether pair man we'll see how when it plays out i don't know but we'll see if it plays out which very well could rising wedge that is correct that's right okay sloppy toppy best of luck man on consuming your next product Okay, man. Well, it's uh, been a fun stream. Thank y'all for coming out and watching. Been live an hour and 14 minutes now. This Bitcoin just uh, showing a little red right now. No big deal. Who cares, man? It's not going to happen overnight. These things take time. Remember, eight days over a week, man, for this impulse to finally finish its development. We're two days in, man. Going on, we've begun our third day. Of development from our pivot just like this pivot okay so just calm down everyone relax what you get as a as a patron apex funny moments is the trade setups of altcoins and bitcoin we can't do uh securities because of liability and you have to be licensed and stuff so i can't really do stock market stuff which is sad because that's like where I learned like everything. Uh, but you get those setups and you get the education, man. The education, uh, joining my Patreon is really so you invest in yourself, okay? Uh, though, yeah, you love the fact that uh, you want to keep, keep me streaming multiple times a day so you're showing your support. But, man, dude, there's so much education involved with our Patreon that it's well worth over the cost. Well worth over the cost, all right? Sure thing, John. You thanks for watching, man. All right, Coin Hub. Thank you, dude, for being here. All right, y'all. Let's do a rundown. Bradley, man, lights out. I can't even believe it, dude. Very honored and humbled. Uh, it means a lot, dude. All right, Bradley, man. Thanks for the one hundred sixty-eight dollars, the one six one eight contribution. Very nice, dude. Montana, thanks for the 420. Ryan Neal, thanks for the 420 and joining the Patreon. All right. And uh, B Slice, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Nine months in a row. You to came in. So thanks everyone else for watching. Please hit that like button, that bell, that sub on the way out. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll be back tomorrow. So until next time, respect the T. Hey.
Oh, it's good. Good and terrible. I am not amused. Adios, turd nuggets.